Hello and welcome back to the channel and once again it's time to answer that question that no one's really asked before. Can you beat the AI going backwards around the circuit while they race the circuit the correct way around? Well, it's the French Grand Prix this weekend so I thought it's time to try this challenge on the French Grand Prix circuit. If you've not seen the challenge before, then I have done it before for Silverstone and the Austrian Grand Prix. In Austria, the AI were a lot faster than me. In Silverstone, it was fairly balanced. So let's see what happens this time at the French Grand Prix. We're using the same difficulty as we used for Silverstone and Austria. And now we're waiting for those five red lights and away we go and away we go. Spin the car around and go the opposite way around the track. So. This challenge is fairly simple. It's a five lap race around the Le Castellet circuit at Paul Ricard, uh, sorry, the Paul Ricard circuit at Le Castellet. And the AI, as you can see, are gonna go the right way around. Whereas us, we're going around the circuit backwards. And I've got to say, this circuit around in backwards is, firstly, it's very difficult because there's so many bloody layouts on this track that it's actually very difficult to know which one the right way is. But when you do start going the right way, it's actually a lot of fun and it's really quite fast. And some corners are a lot faster, I found, going the wrong way as opposed to the correct way. So you can see here, this part, the, uh, the Mistral Straight, this part here, you can absolutely launch it into here. As you see, they got Charles Leclerc there. We've just got a dodge uh, from the AI, so we're just going to cut that left part of the chicane there just so we don't clatter into the side there of Nicolas Latifi, the absolute weapon of mass destruction in this series. If you ever watch the other two races, like I said, go back, check them out, because Latifi is an absolute weapon. He gets in the way at the worst possible parts, because he's so bloody slow, you think you've got past everyone, and then all of a sudden Latifi comes up, and he's like, hey, what you doing, and you smashed into him. Um, but we actually managed to survive the first lap, and this part of the track as well, I found to be really quite quick, especially this corner here which is the last corner in reverse, but the first corner going the right way around, you can take so much speed into turn one when you go the opposite way around. And as we end lap one, we've got a healthy lead there over Charles Leclerc. So it looks like we're leading uh, for once at the end of the first lap. And you can see there as we start lap two, uh, we've got a healthy gap there over everyone. But yeah, Leclerc, we've got a nice little gap over and it'll be interesting to see as we go into it once again and we just dodge Charles Leclerc that time around. Uh, in the chicane, you can see that this is how this challenge gets very interesting because we meet them at different parts each lap and this time around we met Leclerc just as we were going into the chicane so we have definitely gained time on Charles Leclerc this time around and if you are enjoying this series uh, please do as always comment and leave a like do drop a like down below and do drop a comment I do read pretty much every comment that I do get and I do try to respond to pretty much every single comment that I get as well. So yeah, drop a comment and leave a like if you haven't already. And of course, smash that subscribe button for more F1 content, more of this reverse racing, and more, of course, my team as well. Um, we're slowly building up subscribers, and I've got to say, it has been a great return to YouTube. So thank you guys so much. This first month back on YouTube has been a lot of fun. As we start this lap three, and this is the downside of this challenge. You can see here now, we met the bat markers at the worst possible spot as we started lap three and we pretty much had to come to a standstill there as going now halfway around lap three and where are we going to meet them this time so there's Charles Leclerc we meet him there we go through the corner and there's Perez and we smashed into Perez and we're out oh no let's take a look at that in the replay we just we're going into the corner minding our own business and going on here with Perez Let's take a look at it here from Perez. Perez, he's also minding his own business. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere comes a wild Max Verstappen. And we get smashed out of it. Let's take a look at it from Russell's on board. Russell, look at that. Russell, he was going wheel to wheel with Hamilton. And Hamilton was caught up in the Perez and Verstappen incident. And George Russell, he's able to just fly past both of us. And Carlos Sainz. Also trying to get past us. Also hits the back of Lewis Hamilton. Look at the damage to the car there. That's that's a ridiculous amount of damage. So let's flash back and let's try again. <laughs> well, let's flash back and try again, I was going to say. And this time, instead of hitting Hamilton and Perez, 
we smash into George Russell. So we take out the other Mercedes this time around. So we cut the corner as to avoid any incidents there. Uh, so we get back underway. There's a whoa. And what? <laughs> oh, no. What's happening? What's happening? So there we go. This time, I don't think we actually made contact with him. But Mick Schumacher there in the house. Look at that. That was so dangerous. Mick Schumacher. What are you doing? <laughs> Smash the like button if you are enjoying this video. I guess this is just crazy. Look at that. We were so close to contact with Mick Schumacher. How did Schumacher try and turn into us there? Let's see what happens there. We're on board with Schumacher and he did. Schumacher, watch this. Starts turning into a Schumacher there. He's trying to take us out. I, was, I thought that was a bit unfair. And then Latifi at the end. The absolute weapon of mass destruction. Go Tifi right at the end there. Also tries turning into us. What's going on in this race? <laughs> Smash like button if you are enjoying this video. That's, that's just crazy. No idea what's happening there. Oh, uh, you can see it now as we go to the next lap and... Are you okay? that was a and now we crash with Alonso. Okay, <laughs> now we crash into Alonso. That's another incident. Um, that time we were just trying to get to the outside there. Um, but... I think as we were going, we went very pedestrian, and basically what happened was we didn't commit to it enough, and yeah, then we just smashed into Alonso, so now, now we've hit the back of Alonso. So, we're going to try it again. Um, this time, that's a pretty cool shot, by the way, actually, with us and Leclerc. We're going to commit to the outside a little bit earlier, and this time we're able to get around the outside of everyone. So there we do, we get go get past everyone, but then there's Nicholas. Well, we got past everyone, and then once again, we got round another corner before we had another crash. <laughs> and this time, it was the weapon of mass destruction himself, Nicholas Latifi, and he also uh, turns into us just to take us out. Yeah, he doesn't care about us, he just wants to take us out. So, Latifi takes us out. Um, so, this time, we're going to try and make sure we get around the outside a bit earlier, so that Latifi can't just take us out. And this time, we managed to dodge uh, Nicholas Latifi, and... This is actually the last lap of the race. So, I think it's the last lap anyway. Um, of this reverse Grand Prix, you're going to see it in the top left because I will be doing a better job of keeping track of what lap we are actually on in reverse because it's a bit difficult to do it without. So, I think we're on the last lap. It should be sorted uh, by the time uh, the final video does come out. So, it looks like we are going to win this uh, reverse French Grand Prix. Um, you can see we've actually managed to open up a decent gap there to Leclerc, and then there's a huge gap to everyone else. Um, especially the guy in second place, which was Sergio Perez. We've got a huge gap to him, so it does look like we have won uh, the reverse French Grand Prix. There's Latifi, once again, a huge gap uh, from him to everyone else. Poor Latifi, minding his own business at the back of the field, doing whatever he wants at the back. But it does look like we are going to win. Uh, the reverse French Grand <laughs> Reverse French Grand Prix. We just cut the corner as well. We may as well. Um, just cut the corner just by a little bit. And here we go now into the last corner. And it's a dash to the line. Now we're going to beat Charles Leclerc. Yes, we do. We win the reverse French Grand Prix. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Hit the like button if you did. Um, we do win the reverse French Grand Prix. Charles Leclerc sets the fastest lap. Uh, but Leclerc does win, uh, according to that. But we actually win the Grand Prix. And for all time's sake, let's just smash into Latifi and take him out. A great race then and a fantastic victory here at Paul Ricard. So, Natalie, what do you think helped them deliver this result? So I've got to say that that was a lot easier than the Austrian Grand Prix. The uh, Austrian race, the AI, at the same difficulty as this one, were a lot faster than us uh, going the correct way around versus us going the wrong way around. And I suppose that's to be expected because the Austrian Grand Prix, it's a lot tighter in reverse at certain areas, whereas the French Grand Prix in reverse, okay, it's tight in a couple of areas, but there's actually a lot of corners which are a lot more open going the wrong way around. Surprisingly, so you can go a hell of a lot faster going the wrong way around And I've got to say Codemasters, you need to sort out the trophy for the French Grand Prix We need the gorilla 
This is Paul Ricard. We have the gorilla. We're supposed to have the gorilla. So uh, hopefully we can get that one sorted out in a patch, guys. <laughs> but yeah, that was the reverse French Grand Prix. I hope you guys did enjoy it. And yes, it is faster to go backwards around the Paul Ricard circuit versus the correct way around. So as always, guys, comment, leave a like. And if you haven't already, of course, subscribe to the channel. What are you doing? Why haven't you subscribed to the channel? There's so much good content. Subscribe to the channel for more F1 content and thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you again soon for more F1 content. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.